Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. Happy new comic book day, March 27th, 2024. I hope all you guys found all your books in the cubby on the new comic book shop wall mailed to you. However you guys get your books, I hope you guys found all the books you're looking for this week. I know I did here in the Loud Mysterious Black Bag. Actually got six books this week. I don't know, just a bunch of the book. I think I'm getting like eight or nine a month. And just a bunch of them landed on this week. So uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff to talk about this week. Before I get dived into it, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, use the YouTube algorithm to spread me out like peanut butter in the YouTube airwaves. All right, guys, let's get dived into the loud, mysterious black bag in a number six. So I got six books. We're going to start in the number six spot. In the number six spot, I got Detective Comics 1083. Uh, con continuing Ram V's story, uh, art by Federici, uh, the art's super, like, uh, still the same thing that it's been, you know, the art's super, um, like an indie book, and it's kind of written like an indie book, and I am bored to heck. I am bored to heck with this book. But hey, it's in the number six spot. I'm uh, not going to like beat a dead horse. I think I've kind of talked about why I'm not enjoying this run before. Go check previous videos. <laughs> I don't know. It's Detective Comics, guys. So I just keep picking it up, hoping that it's going to turn a new leaf and get better. But nah, it's just not doing that. <laughs> in the number five spot here. Not nearly in the space of Detective Comics, but also kind of an indie feeling book, more of a horror feel, which I think Batman's also going for, but they're just not nailing it. It's more like confusion than horror, but this is actually kind of nailing this horror and it works with Hulk like really well, you know what I'm saying? Kind of the this grotesque body horror book that's pitting Hulk against all these horror type foes and stuff and and again we're you know building up he's uh saving the little girl that's kind of uh been one of the reasons I've been enjoying this too is it's kind of like a a buddy a buddy uh cop I don't know how to explain it but they're they're buddies together kind of you know she she understands the Hulk and Bruce Banner and knows they're kind of you know these two separate people but she really likes the Hulk and uh banner just kind of deals with her it's interesting like it, it it's and it's got this horror thing going on i'm having fun with it i, I would say if it was 4.99 i might not pick it up but it's still only 3.99 and it's just like yeah for four bucks that's fun <laughs> in the number four spot the final issue guys like kind of sadness mm. no more x-force at least for the time being uh, and this continued, like, the Beast storyline that they've been taught, um, they've been doing, and I really enjoyed this finale. Like, I don't want to spoil anything, and I just really enjoyed it, and I don't know how much more I can say than that. That I feel like that might almost sort of spoil it if you know who I am, and what I've said before on the on the channel about the book but it's it's super fun guys like it, it's it's a shame it's ending um hopefully percy stays on with wolverine I, i've really enjoyed this run we'll see you know <laughs> we're we're kind of getting through them this week i got a lot of books so i'm not meandering too long on each one in the number three spot i got amazing spider-man number 46 this really awesome john ramita jr cover kind of takes you back the art inside those by Carnero, and man, his art's awesome. I really liked it, uh, and I can't say that I've ever seen his art before, um, and I really enjoyed it. He, uh, you know, th this this story too. Like I've been saying, this story by Wells is really good, and it it's kind of drawing me in, man. And uh, you, you know, uh, like without spoiling anything, if you guys like Sandman as a character. Um, he's kind of explored in this and there's, there was a bunch of stuff too, between Peter and Mary that like, are they getting back together? There's definite, there's definitely some, some vibes there guys. Like this could be, 
you know, nothing happens in this issue, and I'm not spoiling anything by saying this, but yeah, like, there, there could be maybe some rekindling? I'm not sure what's going on. You guys tell me in the comments below what you thought if you read the book. On to the number two one. Continuing just its domination and really only beat because I felt like the next book fully wrapped up a storyline or at least like puts us at a point where it's super interesting. So I don't want to get jump into that yet. Let's talk about this. This has consistently been really highly ranked by me. This thing's bloody as heck, guys. This is not for the kiddos. Don't, you know, teenage plus for sure. And, uh, yeah, man, like, what happens, what what's shown there on the front cover is actually kind of what's happening in the book, and you understand, like, how that's taking place and why it's interesting if you've read it, and I don't want to spoil that because it's actually a, it's a really good read. Uh, we got some insight into, like, Sabretooth's head and, and how he's just like, man, dude's, dude's sick. And, uh, I, I, I like, I like the dichotomy, like, like one of the characters, I don't want to, you know, I don't, this isn't, isn't spoiling anything, but it, it really kind of, it, it's such good writing, and I gotta, I gotta throw this out there, so the, the, it's, uh, Percy, yeah, Percy, and so Percy's kind of, he's kind of talking about how Wolverine was affected by everything that happened in the Weapon X program and how Sabretooth's affected by everything that happened in the in the Weapon X program and how, like, even through all that and everything that they did that was terrible and murdering other, murdering people and, you know, all, all, the, all the good stuff that, that happened back then, um, Wolverine has somehow come through it and is still like a really good person and just uh, a, a hero through and through, right? But Sabretooth, having gone through the same thing, he, he kind of succumbed to the demons, you know, and and, uh, and is sick and twisted because of, of, of everything that happened. And, and, you know, it's just kind of interesting to me and, and because I've seen that in my own life, you know, where some people are are able to to just kind of persevere and sometimes you you know that if you're out there and you're struggling man sometimes perseverance and just persevering through tragedy and through struggles and and things that'll stand in your way um is the sign of like a true hero and don't we all aspire to be that um and and i just yeah anyways <laughs> like it, when a book can bring you or make you think of those kinds of of topics and like I really, man, Percy's hitting it home. So number two, and in the number one spot, uh, it, legacy number 300 too. So, you know, a little bit of uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300 vibes. There's no first appearance of a Venom type character in this book, but I truly feel like this, um, this, stole, this told a really good story. Like, my miles is ultra powerful now with his with his uh whatever you want to call it he like summons this sword you know um and just man this book is this book is a lot of fun and um i i don't want to spoil because it is it a bunch of stuff goes down in in this book but it's it's a lot of fighting there's a lot of fighting and action and and explosions and two-page spreads that you're just like when you turn the page you're like oh damn you know and that's vincentini because federico vincentini as i said he's he's been nailing this run another reason that it's number one just the art throughout was was amazing um there's two different full page spreads I can think of that would just be the coolest like wrap around cover for second printings or whatever if if that's you know um but the story was really good too like um you know this doesn't spoil anything this just like entices you so somebody dies um someone who I don't believe they're going to be bringing back and uh someone caused it and Miles is pretty upset, and that that kind of is like the cliffhanger at the end there. Um, and so it's just a really good read. Uh, I feel like there's real stakes, you know. Um, and that that's pretty much where I'm at, guys. I 
I had a bunch of fun with the books I read this week. We got six books. It was a really heavy week. There was even some other stuff that I was like, man, if only I was, uh, you know, <laughs> very rich. Uh, that looks fun. That looks fun. So there's something that uh, I didn't talk about in the comments and, and uh, you, you think it was amazing this week. Throw that down in the comments too. As always, click all the buttons, do all the things. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time and have a great day.